Rogue River in southwestern Oregon is one of the nation's most beloved rivers. It is known for its scenic beauty, world-class whitewater, and internationally renowned salmon and steelhead fishery. It is one of the few remaining salmon strongholds in the Northwest. This magnificent river runs free from the Pacific Ocean upstream for 107 miles, at which point salmon and steelheads migrating upstream encounter the first man-made obstruction, Savage Rapids Dam. Savage Rapids Dam is a 39-foot high, 500-foot long dam constructed across the Rogue River by the Grants Pass Irrigation District in 1921. Its sole function was to divert water for the irrigation district. It did not serve any flood control, water storage, or power generation purpose. In, in essence, this is, this is a hydromechanical power station. Okay, if you can look at it this way. Th this is 1872 state-of-the-art technology here. A lot of this stuff was blueprinted in 1896 and installed in 1920. Okay, that gives you kind of an idea of what we're dealing with here. The fish screens need to be totally redone. Maintenance issues with the turbines, we've had to rebuild them. Um, some of the concrete, you know, the dam's 70, 80 years old. Um, so with the prospects, even though with a lot of people, I think lead more with the emotions and don't want change, but the district had to look at change, you know, to be able to survive and go into the future. There will be or would have been in the future some very big costs to keeping the dam, which was probably above, uh, well, there's no doubt about it, above the district's ability to do it. Also, when it comes to, you know, safety, when you're out there walking, we can do away with some of those uh, safety issues and concerns. State and federal fish management agencies have long considered Savage Rapids Dam the biggest fish killer on the Rogue River. The dam impeded upstream and downstream passage for significant portions of all five runs of salmon and steelhead in the Rogue River, including coho salmon listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. The existing dam had two major problems with, well, one with uh, juvenile fish coming downstream and the other with adult fish coming upstream. The juvenile fish downstream were through we're expected to come through as an old screening system, a vertical traveling screen system in front of the powerhouse on the other side. This is an antiquated system. It didn't seal up prob properly. We had juveniles getting behind the screens and into the pumps and being pumped either, either up into the uh, intake canals or being chewed up in the turbines and, and, and discharged downstream. As the juveniles come out and begin their, their out migration through there, they have to tr traverse through a reservoir where they're subject to predation, both bird predation and fish predation. Uh, when we remove the dam, they won't have that same amount of predation. They won't be subject to that same predation. Now, the adult fish coming back up the ladder here, because the ladder is so uh, convoluted in their, in their track, we had fish actually leaping out of the ladder one of the problems with the adult ladder is was the ability of the fish to locate that ladder in terms of uh, competing flow coming from the rest of the river. This is especially in the wintertime configuration. The ladder, this ladder, because it has multiple entrances, is not that attractive compared to main flow coming over the dam. So we had a lot of fish delaying and injuring themselves, jumping, looking for the right uh, uh, the right location, the right route to get up the ladder. One of the advantages of removing the dam will be that we will reclaim uh, approximately three and a half miles of river as a river. This habitat right now is a reservoir, is a, is a lake uh, that doesn't offer uh, spawning opportunities for adults as, as they're moving, migrating upstream.
After 88 years, the rogue is running free, and salmon and boats can pass unimpeded through the old dam site. The Grants Pass Irrigation District has a modern, state-of-the-art pumping facility to deliver water to its patrons. Removal of the dam will dramatically increase salmon and steelhead runs in the Rogue River. It will increase run-of-the-river recreational opportunities. In addition, the district's 800 cubic feet per second power right has been transferred to an in-stream water right with a 1918 priority date. This will protect Rogue River flows into the future. This remarkable river restoration project will help preserve our nation's river heritage for the next generation. <music>